Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. Today we are back with the next Super License Challenge, which is the S6 Trial Mountain in the Shelby Mustang. We've managed to get gold on all of the other five. We're now into the second half of the challenge. Some even more technical tracks, some even more technical cars, and the difficulty is definitely ramping up. So let's get into the video and see how quickly we can get the Trial Mountain Circuit Challenge completed. Okay, Classic Grand Tour is my track. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Elevation changes. So it looks like the car could be leaving the track at times. This could be interesting. Okay, so we are on traction control one. And we're just gonna go for it. Again, I'm not doing the demonstration because I don't tend to learn that way. I tend to learn by doing. And the first lesson is that we do need to lose some speed into this first corner. So up into fifth. Braking at the beginning of the curbs there, just to balance the car, getting it over the top of the curb. Whoa, yeah. The elevation changes are going to catch me out. With this one, you go up, down, and then up on the two curbs. So you've got high points on the two curbs, which we are going to need to work with. So we'll brake, get it turned in. Whoa, still the same. Interesting, I haven't got a ghost car either. It doesn't seem. I might have to just check that out in a moment. Oh, it's a lot more cautious through there, but still sliding like crazy. Let's just exit out of there because I don't seem to have a ghost car. Uh, so my best was on. We'll put the demonstration ghost on at half a second out. Because I think we're just going to need to follow the ghost car around initially. And then we'll put our own ghost car in. Put that on uh, if we need to. So the ghost car is definitely braking. We'll be catching him a little bit there, which is unsettling the car. Still sliding, still sliding. So the ghost car has got well away from us because I am just obviously too much accelerator inputs on some of these corners. This car is, I mean, we're on sports hard. This is sliding all over the place. So it's like a normal road car, which means we're going to have to treat this with a lot more care. Let's just put a time in. I'm not going to worry about the ghost car. I just want to put a time on the board that I can then get my own ghost car. And we will then set that to half a second out and then use that to get faster and to do the challenge. Because that ghost car is far too quick for me right now. This is a track that I know. There is no excuse as far as not knowing the track is concerned. Use my normal braking point there, but that was too deep because you need to cut across those hatchings on that particular corner to get the drive through through here. But again, we've got these elevation changes which are really unsettling the car into some tight corners. Again, we're going to go down. This is this track is so undulating and it's really upsetting the balance of this Mustang. I was worried about the back end on this Mustang. Uh, my problem at the moment is just getting it turned in more than the, the back end and just keeping it going in a straight line, keep it out of the barrier and then we've got to drag to the line. So. We're going to need to think very carefully about that last sort of elongated chicane because we need to get a good amount of speed down the straight. We've actually gone silver, which is a real surprise. That shows how easy bronze is on these challenges. 
So you guess silver was a bit of a surprise. Uh, I'm going to go with the same ghost. I probably ought to have dropped back to my own ghost. I'm just going to go with the fact that we've just got the silver there. I've gone with oh, I've gone with with the the gold ghost, and that's off. So as soon as you start sliding in this car, you've gone. So you can't carry too much speed through corners. It's better to go slow in and fast out with these corners. You can see, well, I can feel, you probably can't see, but I can feel this car is starting to squirm as soon as you brake if you have not got the steering wheel in a straight line. This is notoriously difficult through here. You need to be much further over towards the inside of the tunnel. So that was all wrong. That's way too fast. Yeah. Okay. Um, what to do, what to do, what to do. Let's, let's, just, let's just put our own ghost car on. Go settings, we're going to put our own on, half a second out. And I think that trying to chase down the gold ghost car was just, it's, it's too much, I'm trying too hard. It's getting a lot more settled through there, over the top of that one. choosing fourth gear a turn in here down into third oh. no it's too deep ah uh, this the brakes on this car are non-existent um, I feel like I'm pushing my brake pedal through the pedal board and it's still not slowing down. Likewise, I don't want to be on the brake pedal if that if the steering wheel is not perfectly straight. Another slide. Once this thing starts sliding, it's sliding. It's like being on ice. I want to visit the tuning shop and put a set of racing tyres on. If I'm perfectly honest, these sports hearts are just a nightmare. So what we're going to do is we're going to treat this as if it's on ice. And just see if that makes any difference whatsoever. So we're going to start braking earlier, turning in more gently, uh, and just as if it's a very wet or an icy track. Okay, so watching for the beginning of the curb section, I think there. Again, I'm still on the brakes when I'm turning there, so I need to brake a bit before the curbs, actually. thought if we left it in fourth gear there that might um, stop the back end from squirming around but pull it back down into third right we need to think very very carefully now about this next corner I'm gonna break heavily at the beginning of the curbs that was a bit too late that was too late that was nowhere near the beginning of the curbs because I want to try and straighten this run through here so that we can get a better, a much better run out of the corner. I've got the accelerator down a little bit too quickly, a little bit too early. Might have got away with it. But we need to get more acceleration down that straight to the end. So a 116.7. So you've got 1.7 seconds to find. So theoretically, if we can keep up with our ghost car, that's going to give us the gold in three attempts. 
Now again, I'm going to treat this as if we're driving on ice. I'm going to try and accelerate and brake in straight lines, gentle turnings. Ooh. Again, just watching these amber lights. Oh, that's gone too wide. Slow down. So as soon as you get over the top of there and it's straight, that's when it hit brakes. Again through here, the beginning of the tunnel. As soon as you get to into the shady bit, start braking. I've said before, don't use shadows as braking points because they tend to move. But I imagine that with this particular challenge that the weather and the sunlight is pretty much going to stay consistent. So we're going to break at the beginning of the curbs. To see, it's still gone a bit wide. So if we can cut that corner more, we can carry more speed through here. We did actually carry more speed through there, but that caught me out. So we have actually caught up with the ghost car, but oh boy, that was all out of control. That was why I went a little bit quiet. So through this corner, just trying not to slide quite so much. If we can stay with the ghost car and pick up another half a second, I will be really pleased. So broke a little bit before the corner that time, which enables us to have a much better, so broke before the, the curbs, I think, a better line through there, better drive out, still sliding still put the accelerator down way too quickly on the exit of that corner but it looks like we might have taken a bit more time out of our time to so a new record 116 one one and a half seconds to find sorry just over one second to find so again we just need to bring down stay with our ghost car bring that time down by half a second half a second half a second all of the time it seems a lot slower through here but if we get it slowed down earlier and, and just think about the gears think about the brakes then we can go quicker and again we're already up onto our ghost car we went a bit wide last time it's taking a little bit more easy I left that in fourth gear, should have probably gone third, got a big slide on the way out. Oh, yeah, I think third gear through the tunnel is probably going to be better. That was a shame. This first section was a lot better. So I'm actually breaking just before the curb there, getting into fourth gear, looking to go over the top of that curb, over the top of that curb, keep it out here, so third gear. We'll leave it in third gear, just feathering the throttle, looking for the amber lights, looking for the amber lights. I'm pretty much off the accelerator through there, leaving it in third. We'll stay in third for this corner, actually down into second, just to get it turned in. Up into third, and we're going to go down into second, braking on the apex of that corner. Again, looking to get across these hatchings. Get a good drive out of the corner. If you can get a good drive out of the corner, then that does give you speed advantage down here. I'm not quite sure where the ghost car is. I think we're right on top of the ghost car. Oh, there he is. So you come down into third. Just trying to use these hatchings a little bit more. Enables you to get the accelerator down a little bit quicker. Just concentrating hard, just trying to stay with the ghost car. It's nice to get ahead of the ghost car, but what we really want to do is just stay with the ghost car. Yay! 
no, that's lost that one. Put that into the barrier. Just want to, it's nice to get ahead of the ghost car, but if you can just stay with the ghost car, then that's going to give you that half a second, half a second, half a second, half a second, and draw you into that gold. So it is, it's nice to get ahead of the ghost car, but sometimes it doesn't actually help. So come down a second. So I'm using these little orange lights now. Oh, just gone out a little bit too wide there. Get it settled down before we accelerate. Take a run to this corner, second to get it just turned in. Same thing over the top into second, looking for the apex. Same thing here. Just trying to use inside of that corner. Watching for this breaking point. Beginning of the curves that time. Hard on the brakes. Better turn in. Better turn in. Keep it nice and easy on the way out. Concentrating like mad. Ooh. Just want to stay with the ghost car, that's all. All we need to do. Okay, it's all about this next corner. It's a second corner. Get the turn in. Get the turn in off this one. Drag to the line. Looks like we've got a slightly better run. Oh, so I just missed a gear there. But that has given us another new record and moving forward just a little bit more. So another silver. We're now looking at uh, eight tenths of a second. So we do actually need to get in front of the ghost car, ideally this time. But again, this is just half a second, half a second, half a second all of the time. So not an easy challenge, this one. It's a little bit quicker through there. Ooh. So a little bit quicker, but then we did end up carrying just a little bit more speed through that corner Just watching the wall uh, this is just a little bit too quick yeah I didn't really feel that one if I'm perfectly honest it wasn't smooth by any any stretch of the imagination We are getting ever so slightly quicker through this section, which is encouraging. It does mean that we need to work on some of the other sections a little bit as well, just to find a few tents here and there. Now is not the time to get carried away when you're right with the ghost car. Keep your concentration up. Ghost car is going to come back at me, probably. Yeah, there we go. So can we get a nice exit? No, we can't. I was concentrating too much on the ghost car there, which was a real shame. I should have just concentrated more on the track. Just 
sometimes I get tempted to turn the ghost car off. Um, I tend to find that tends to be a little bit counterproductive sometimes. But we are in a situation now where we are already ahead of the ghost car, so this is effectively like driving with the ghost car off. So let's just see if what I've just said makes any sense. Let's not think about the ghost car, let's just concentrate on the track, the driving, apexes, braking, turning, everything. Not sure how we're doing on the ghost car. I'm not looking. Don't want to know. Thinking about this next corner, where we're going to break, where we're going to turn in, getting it across the hatchings. Oh, we've gone way too deep. Far too deep. Oh, what a waste. What a waste. Oh. I was carrying so much more speed down that straight and I didn't adjust. No, I've got that all wrong now. Ugh. I just didn't adjust my braking point. I didn't allow for the fact that I was going so much quicker down that straight. And I was just trying to push the braking point a little bit further forward just to keep the momentum. And I broke my own rule. All you've got to do is stay with the ghost car. I mean, yes, on this one, I need to get ahead of the ghost car to get the gold. But for the moment, just stay with the ghost car and you're gonna make up that extra half a second and get that much closer. So annoyed with myself, that could have been a gold lap, I think. Again, it just shows if you get ahead of your ghost car, it doesn't always work. And running without the ghost car. Sometimes having the ghost car on and just having it just slightly ahead of you is good. The ghost car is right there. Trying to get a good exit on this one. Hug the inside, get a good line. Hoping for a good run down this straight. The ghost car is right with us. So at the moment we are looking at potential half a second increase which is going to get us very 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 close to our goal gone a bit too deep on there again i'm going to be breaking before the curb stones oh i've got it i can feel the car sliding through there I knew that that was not going to be great. Struggling to get the accelerator down. We are still with the ghost car though. Just snatching second to get it turned in. Third gear. Better exit out of that corner. Getting it across here. Getting it back across. Getting it straight for this corner. Oh, that was not very good. And a bad gear change. I won't be surprised if the ghost car comes back at us. But we might have done another half a second. So a one, uh, sorry, 215.196. So two tenths of a second to find. Just two tenths of a second to find. So now, all we need to do is stay with or just behind the ghost car. And that will be gold done. Let's see if we can do this within the half an hour. Down into fourth. Watching to get over this curb, over the next curb without getting it too sideways. Getting it slowed down for this corner without sliding, without getting any oversteer. Down into third for this corner, watching for the orange lines, making sure you don't drift out too far into the wall. Down to second for this turn in, hugging the apex, letting it drift out to the edge of the corner, quickly up into third, down into second once we're straight over that rise. 
up into third quickly, down into second for the turn here, hugging the inside of this corner. Get the accelerator down as quick as we can, up into third. We want to try and get the momentum down here. There is some talk about whether you get slipstream off of the ghost car. I don't know whether there is any truth in that, but we are staying with the ghost car right now. Don't think about the ghost car, think about the braking point here. I'm going to brake just before the curbs, get it down into third, trying to get a better turn in. That's still too deep through there. And it was sliding, so that really didn't pay off at all. But we are still with the ghost car, slightly better line through there. Not sliding quite so much. Think about the this corner. I'll leave it in third gear. Now we're coming down to our little complex of corners. Break in at the beginning of this section in the second gear. Get it turned in over this. Oh no, no, we cut too much of the corner. Ah, that was a gold as well. That was a gold as well. Oh. Mitchell, 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 what are you doing? Got angry with myself now, you can tell. Look, I'm going through here way, way too fast, sliding around all over the place, just not happy. Really annoyed with myself. Uh, we'll, we'll carry this one through just so that we can just experience the latter part of the track, even though this one has gone already. Ah, oh, so annoyed. Haven't quite got the braking zone for that last corner, which is all important to get the drive off the corner to the line. Uh, I haven't quite got a braking point set up there. Now, strangely, I thought that this whole lap had gone away from myself and I'm just driving it. And we're back on the back of the ghost car. Sometimes you can overthink these tracks and sometimes it's better just to feel your way around them. You know, fastest and always fastest. The ghost car was actually pretty good through there, if I'm honest. So remember, all we've got to do to get gold is to stay with this. No! Oh! Well, I did say that that was thrown away at the very, very beginning. I'm going to be quiet for this lap. I don't want to do it. Full concentration. So, so, so far. It'd be nice if we were in front of the ghost car now, but um, we're, we're nearly there. Better. Oh, I've got a slide on the way out.
Have we done enough? I'm not so sure. It's going to be close. No, not close enough. Still needs to be quicker. Got to be close, much closer to the ghost car. That's too deep. Stick with it. Come on, Mitchell. Just get it together, mate. Get it together. That felt quicker off the corner. It wasn't. This car is getting a little bit too far away. Just push the limits a little bit too much through there just to try and get on the back of the ghost car. Just trying everything right now. A little bit too over cautious through there again. Have we got a run on the ghost car this time? Oh, this is going to be close again. Is it enough? Is it enough? Is it enough? Is it enough? No! So we're now over the half an hour for this track. And we're so close. So close. It is so annoying when this game does this to you and you get literally a few tenths away from the time that you need and then you've got to go again. And you've got to go again and again and again. Just trying to learn from what we've done previously. Bit of a slide there. Get it turned in for this one, that was better. Second gear over the top, get it turned in. Run to the second gear, hug this corner, get a good exit. Oh, Mr. Gear there. Ghost car's right there. Get it turned in, come on. We need to keep this a little bit more balanced through here this time. Not so sliding. Get the exit, get the car over. Thinking about this corner, you've got that dip there, which unsettles the car. Oh! That dip again. 
I should have run through the dip and then turned. I tried to turn in the dip, which unsettled the back of the car. So I was aware of the dip, and I uh, just didn't give it enough care and attention as we went over it. Just get it slowed down in a straight line through there. Good, we're on the back of the ghost car already. Down into third gear. Just try not to run too wide. Try and get a better drive out of that corner. We've got a bit of a slide on. Get it broken in straight line. That's gone a bit too wide again. Managed to get it gathered up, breaking in a straight line over the top to the apex. Turned in around. Second gear. Hug the inside. Get the acceleration down as much as we can. Felt I got that acceleration down a lot cleaner and earlier that time. Shouldn't be worrying about the ghost car, but he's right there. Just snatch second gear there, just to try and slow it down a little bit more. I'm not sure if that helped or not. I'm not going to think about that too much. Nothing we can do about it now. Get it turned in. Right, remember this corner. Probably a bit too overcautious through there, but never mind. We are still ahead of the ghost car for the moment. I'm not quite sure where the ghost car is. All about this last corner. Down into second gear. Don't cut it too much. Let it run across. Try and get it straightened up. We need a good run off this corner. We managed to get the power down early. Straight run to the line. Looks like we might have done it this time. Well, we know we've done it this time because we're ahead of the ghost car. And we're coming with a 2.13.1. So we've been struggling with this for the best part of half an hour. And then suddenly we beat it by two whole seconds. I tell you, when it comes right, it just comes right. Let's just uh, follow this one through. It's a beautiful car, this Mustang. So we were getting faster and faster through this section all the time. Uh, breaking at the beginning of that curb, just at the end of the arm curb, into fourth gear through here, riding right the curves, getting it slowed down and turned in as we head in towards the tunnel. At the tunnel, we're braking and looking for third gear, and we're watching these what are these orange uh, lights on the inside, trying not to let it drift out too far. It drifted a bit too far on that one, which then meant we carried a bit too much into that corner. So we went a bit wide and lost some time, but I managed to make it up on this one, breaking there and into second gear. So just as you apex the first of those two corners, bury the brake pedal into second gear. And the same here as you got under the tunnel, get it down into second gear, get it right away across onto these hatchings, hug the inside as much as possible, and then up into third gear as soon as you can, and then up through the gears along this long drag down to the corner at the bottom and at the, here we're looking for a braking point pretty much on that sign bury the brake pedal get it turned in across on the hatchings I think I broke a bit after that sign that, that time trying to get it across the hatchings drift out onto the other hatchings and now we're thinking about this other complex which is sort of all up and down all over the place so we get up over the top settle the car down break in a straight line into the apex of that corner off the brakes as you go through the corner, looking for the curb on the outside, getting it back across to the left-hand side. Get the dip done, then brake and get the turn, making sure that we don't overshoot on that corner. And now we're thinking about this elongated chicane. So braking at the beginning of the curb stones, down into second gear, nice apex. Get it rotated across and then trying to get it as straight as possible just letting the back end drift ever so slightly so that we can get a good run down this long straight and across the line for gold and a really nice time well pleased with that one really really pleased with that particular run 
Oh, and we've gone top. Oh, by some considerable margin. Wow, that is a surprise. Considering how long it took us to do that one. Wow, that is cool. Okay, so. We'll collect our credits. And that is the Trial Mountain Circuit Super License X6 done. And we now move into the last four challenges. The next one is our first outing in a Formula One car, which is all going to be about commitment and downforce on the WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca, which is a, an incredibly challenging circuit, some really fast straights into really tight corners. So if you'd like to join me for that one, please remember to hit the bell button and subscribe if you haven't already for notification of that video coming very soon. And if you are back uh, again for another video, thank you ever so much for following me along. It's very much appreciated and I value all of my subscribers as I'm growing this channel. For now, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.